what will be the name of the input data set that will be used by the proc freak when the below code is run in a fresh SAS session. So we have a data step which is creating a data set named class by reading the data set named class from SAS self library. And then there is a proc freak procedure that is being invoked. The question is what is the name of the input data set that will be used by the proc freak. So if we want to explicitly specify the name of an input data set for the procedure, we use the data is equal to option for that procedure. Here data is equal to option has not been used. So the question is primarily like what will be the default data set that will be used when we do not specify the name of the data set using data is equal to option. So when we do not specify the data is equal to option, the last created data set in that SAS session would be used by the procedure. So in this case, in, when before the proc freak is being uh, invoked, so we have a data set named class is being created. So assuming that there are no syntax errors in this, so the data set would be work.class. Yes, and that is the last data set that is created. So that's, that would be the data set that will be used. So let us take a look at the options. Yes, the first data first option is class. So this could be a correct option, but let us take a look at the other options before we conclude that this option is correct. The second option, it says SAS self dot class. So this is not the data set that is getting created. In fact, it is the data set that is being used as input for the previous step, but it's not the output data set. And then the third step says results in an error. So there are no syntax errors in this step. So the data set would be created and the, it would not actually result in an error. And then the last option says syslast. Uh, there is actually a macro variable named syslast which actually contains the last data set that is created in a, when we execute a program. So there is some relation but if it had been like ampersand syslast the syslast macro variable would have contained work dot class so that would have been a correct answer if it was ampersand syslast which again if we are explicitly specifying using data is equal to option so in this case the first option is, is the correct answer so you see the explanation is the last created data set before a procedure is called will be used as input when the data set is not explicitly mentioned using data is equal to option. In this case class or work dot class is the last data set that is created before proc freak is executed. So class is the correct answer.